Hey. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking natural nail polish. I have been putting a couple of kind of progress shots up on my Instagram lately with uh, one or two brands that I really love using at the moment that are super clean and work so well and perform so well and are very long lasting. A lot of you said that you would like to see a video on non-toxic nail polish and my favorite colors and my favorite brands that I'm using at the moment. So hence the rainbow nails. <laughs> I've got some examples here for you. Before I jump into each of these colors and the brands that I'm using, I really quickly wanted to explain a couple of things about natural nail polish because a lot of people may or may not know that you actually cannot get a 100% certified organic natural nail polish. I think it is near impossible to create a formula that will stick to your nails, dry on your nails and last on your nails. So I don't know if an organic nail polish will ever exist, a 100% natural one, but there are a lot of non-toxic, cleaner nail products on the market at the moment that have come a very long way and I also suggest that you do your own research when it comes to three, five, seven and ten free nail polishes. It's totally up to you to do your own research on these ingredients and decide what you're willing to and not willing to put on your body. I am giving you the information that I have on hand regarding what each of those, you know, five 10 free polishes do not contain, but it's totally up to you what you would like to use. So there's three main bad toxins that used to be included in most nail polishes, which even some of the mainstream brands have started eliminating or have eliminated now. So DBP is one of them, and that allows the product to be flexible. It also adds shine to your nail polish. That ingredient has been linked to reproductive and development issues. Formaldehyde is a really known nasty now. It's a known carcinogen and it has been linked to irritation, cancer. Um, I believe that that ingredient is used to harden the product. Um, most even mainstream sort of brands have eliminated that now as well. Now I can never pronounce this one correctly but toline. So I believe toline is included to help the product dry smoothly and also maintain its color. Now this ingredient is the main issue for dizziness, headaches, that cool real chemical kind of smell that you get from the nail polishes. So that one has been linked to like dizziness and irritation, but also reproductive and developmental issues as well. Also just to let you know, my main reason for switching nail polishes is definitely headaches. I have quite a sensitive, like I can't smell a lot of strong perfume scents the nail polish smell. I hate going into nail salons. I can't do it. But also low toxin nail polishes are actually breathable. So they're less likely to cause uh, infections, fungal issues with your nails. If you're wearing closed in shoes a lot and you're sweating a lot and you've got your conventional nail polish on, you're at higher risk of that bacteria getting under the nail and it not breathing and causing fungal issues as well. Okay, so I actually have two top picks which are kind of on par with one another, but I'm going to start with Sienna Byron Bay. This is their cute little packaging here, and this one that I have here is in the color Harmony, which is a beautiful light peachy nude color, and it's this middle finger here. So you can see that is one layer of product. And the color payoff is beautiful. It's a nice creamy consistency and super shiny. The reason why I love Sienna Byron Bay, there are many reasons. This little brand was created and is made in Byron Bay. And it is the cleanest nail polish on the market. They have so many certifications. They were the first brand to get rid of a lot of nasty ingredients. They were also the first uh, nail polish brand globally to remove like microplastics and glitter from their 
production of their nail products. They are B Corp certified, non-toxic certified, Australian made, and they're so easy to apply. They're a really creamy consistency, and like you would have seen if you were someone that requested to see this video, the picture I put up on my Instagram of my toenails, it was two weeks old and it still looked perfect. No chips, no fading, they don't streak, which I love. That really annoys me when you get a nail polish and it just keeps streaking even after applying layers and layers of it. They're ethical and they're also so transparent with their ingredients. Like if you go onto their website, if they have a few different colors that might contain a couple more ingredients than the others, they will state that on there. They're very transparent, very ethical. And I just love their color range. This is the cutest color ever. The next top pick for me is Hanami Cosmetics Nail Polish. Now they originally were seven free but they're phasing out or have phased out most of those products. They are now 10 free. They're vegan, cruelty free, um, non-toxic and this consistency is so impressive. So this is my go-to bright color. Like through spring, summer, or any time of year, really. I love a bright toenail. I'm not a huge fan of color on my actual fingernails because I do chip those quite easily. But when it comes to my toenails, this is my go-to bright color. And this is in the color Cherry O Baby. Now, the consistency of this nail polish is so beautiful to apply. The color payoff is amazing. You never get a streak. I never get a streak from this nail polish or this brush. I would describe this as a little bit thinner in consistency than this Sienna Byron base, so maybe not quite as creamy, but it goes on like glass. It's so shiny. I've had people say, oh my God, have you had a pedicure? That nail polish is so shiny. Now, I will show you my toes in a second. I have had this product on them with one base coat, and one layer of nail polish, which I actually applied just as I was leaving home the other day and I went out for the day. It dried perfectly. It didn't smudge, chip, nothing. It's week two now. I have no top coat. Apart from the fact that they're, you know, super clean, the performance is really a standout from these guys. Another thing to mention with Hanami is their water-based nail polish remover pads are incredible. They have a vanilla smell. They don't smell like um, your conventional nail polish remover. They have moisturizing properties in them and they work so well. They're perfect for travel. I've just run out, but I'll leave an image up here as to what they look like. Obviously, they're acetone-free and they're water-based and they're just so easy to use and they smell amazing. Another product which I have actually been using for quite some time, and this was probably one of the first good nail polishes I tried that was non-toxic. This is the Zoya Nail Polish in the color Claire, and that's this one here. So this is amazing for winter, autumn, I love wearing. It's almost like a plum wine sort of color really shiny. I have, I've worn this color on my nails previously and I've gotten away with probably maybe five days without it chipping. These guys have been around since like the 80s I think and they've just continued to develop and grow and improve as the years have gone by. They're 10 free and I believe they're a US company so I really love that color and again they have all of these brands have a huge variety of color options. Zoya's website is quite good. I think they go in like color categories so it's really easy to find like they'll have like nudes, plums, reds and it just makes it really easy to find the, the colors that you're drawn to. So another product that I've just started using in the last 12 months is this Cure Bazaar Paris nail polish. These guys are up to 85% natural and I have the color Rose Milk on which is this beautiful milky pink. It's like a creamy pink. It's almost kind of a little bit transparent. This is it here. I actually purchased this product when I was in London from 
uh, I can't remember, but it was a natural store and I really wanted to buy something while I was over there that was natural. So this was what I picked. I'm not sure how accessible they are to purchase everywhere else. I'm sure throughout Europe they would be. I believe they are um, a French brand, so you would have to do some research, but again, I'll leave whatever links I can down below. The last one I want to share with you is the Raw Superfood Infused Beauty Kaled It Nail Lacquer. These guys claim to be 100% natural. They're made in Australia, and they actually have ingredients added to the formula that are really good for your skin and your nails. So this one has coconut oil, pomegranate oil, acai berry and sweet orange oil. So they're really good for your nails um, as well as actually working quite well. They are probably a little bit more affordable than some of the others that I've shared with you. I have the color Don't Be Subtle and I have that on my thumb here. Now, I find when I'm applying this, it might just be the differences in some of these brushes. I'm not sure. But this one does streak a little bit more with the first one or two layers. If I did get a darker or a brighter color, it may not be the case. But I just find with this lighter sort of color, it does streak a little bit. But I still like using it particularly on my fingernails when I want something fairly neutral and it lasts quite well, it dries quite well and it's super super clean and it's an Australian brand. So that one's probably not at the top of my list but it's something that I still use and I would suggest you try if you would like to try something different. Now something else I wanted to mention to you is I've, I've mentioned that I do have a base coat on. If you can find a good affordable non-toxic nail polish that has a clear option or a base coat option you're probably going to be pretty safe with it because it doesn't really need to be perfect or not streaky because you're putting something over the top of it so a brand i wanted to also talk about is benicos so these guys are a german brand and nourish life which is one of the organic online Australian stores stocks this makeup brand. They obviously have nail polishes as well. Now they are so cheap, but again, they're not really on my sort of top pick list, but they're still worth mentioning. So one last thing I wanted to quickly mention is water-based nail polishes. Now water-based nail polishes are the cleanest sort of nail polishes that you can get. They are totally breathable. They are virtually odorless and they're great for children. So there's a couple of brands that I have used or heard of. One of them is Pure Poppet, which is available at Nourish Life. And that is a kid's brand. So, I mean, if you letting your kids play with nail polish and then they're putting this in their mouth, that's kind of gross. So um, Pure Poppet is water-based, super clean, and basically has no smell. I have tried Honey Bee Gardens when I first started testing out natural nail polishes, and I would not personally suggest using them. It can take a little bit to get used to working with the water-based water nail polishes. They can be a little bit different and difficult to apply, and until you get used to the technique or you know, the layering of how you need to apply it, they can be quite streaky and hard to work with. So if you want to go like super, the cleanest you can go, water-based nail polishes is where it's at. But I found them really hard to work with and I probably won't venture down that path again. One brand that I haven't tested out, which I probably should, is 100% Pure's range of non-toxic nail polishes. I also haven't tried Butter London, but I don't think they're as clean. I don't think they're 10 free or even like 7 free. I think they're just maybe 3 to 5 free. But let me know down below if you have tried 100% Pure or if there's any super clean non-toxic polish brands that you have tested that I have not mentioned. So I hope you found today's video helpful. I really enjoyed filming this today and it was kind of fun doing multicolored nails. So I hope that you got something out of it, learned something from it and um, inspire you to go and try something non-toxic. So thank you so much for watching as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your suggestions down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!